Here's a handshake now, which means that match number one will be getting underway. Webb in his 50th television appearance will watch Pete McCarty looking for his very first win, shooting on the left lane of the championship pair, which Bo described to you a moment ago. Weeks average 224, Houston, Texas. And with his wife looking on here at Gable House in Torrance, he has opened uh, in a perfect way. Now, Wayne Webb, bowling out of Indianapolis, Indiana, native of Massachusetts. Unusual style, Nelson. Wayne Webb uh, started bowling as a junior bowler, but Chris, you're right, he has developed that low swing style of his. Wayne Webb used to hold the ball waist high, but he felt more comfortable holding it down by his side, and that kept his arm swing much straighter as you see him drive through the line, ending up about 18 inches behind the foul line, slightly off balance on that shot, has left himself a relatively easy spare, the 2-4. with a spare, the 29-year-old who last year reached the TV Finals three times without a victory. Which didn't, of course, make him happy because this is a tough competitor. 16 titles in a 12-year PBA career. McCordick, who marked with a strike in the first frame, shooting now in the second. The winner of this match will meet Mats Carlson from Gothenburg, Sweden, then John Gant of Independence, Kentucky, and Ricky Corona, like McCordick, a non-winner. with the style that he's developed over the years is almost a textbook style. Four-step delivery, slightly higher than shoulder arm swing. Extended follow-through right towards the target. Off to a good start with two strikes. Could extend his lead over Wayne Webb to 20 pins with a third strike here in the third frame. McCordick, who was on television three times last year without a win, and today the winner will get 18,900 runner-up, 7, 5,500, and the loser of this match we're watching right now, $4,500. Webb now looking, hoping to double third frame right lane. A two-pin. Once again, Wayne Light on the right-hand lane. And what you have to watch with Wayne Webb is you see his ball sliding by the head pin. Gets a good break as he leaves only the two pin, a simple spare. As Wayne Webb is dropping his right shoulder more than he ever has in the earlier part of his career. And I think that's the, tr the reason he's had, he hasn't had a, a good year in the last year and a half. Wayne Webb on this championship pair. Uh, crossed it twice, averaged 241, McCordick 206, and Wayne was one of four who shot perfect 300 games here during the week. Watch Wayne Webb's eyes as he lines up. He looks down to see where he should mark on the approach. Then watch his eyes as he picks up his uh, two spots in the lane. There's the early one, then down the lane, then back to the other one. Good movement. Wayne Webb, 60 through the third, with a strike up in the fourth, trailing by 20 pins. We're in our very first match on the Professional Bowlers Tour. We'll be back. Here is a most prolific non-winner on the Professional Bowlers Tour. Pete McCordick of Houston, Texas, 33-year-old, father of two, who has three in a row, now shooting in the fourth frame, can increase his lead to 30 pins. Oh, 
That's four. In 14 previous championship round experiences, as you see wife Susie looking on, liking the action so far. Peter perfect through four frames. Pete McCordick has only won one match in 15 attempts. He's one in 14, but he has a, uh, a new year under his belt, and he really, really looks sharp. He practiced very hard in November and December. He's perfect through four frames. Make it five now for Pete McCarvick. He and Susan have two sons as we get a replay of that shot. The action of the two pin, it drives to the sideboard, taking out the four and seven pins, and that's one of the big reasons the scores have been so high at the Gable House. You're rewarded with a strike almost every time you hit the pocket. And Wayne needed that one. Cutting the lead to uh, 30 pins. We asked uh, Wayne earlier, that he predicted in 1980 he'd be the bowler of the decade. How's he doing? Well, in 1986, I had a real bad year. It humbled me. It, it made me work a lot harder. In the last six months, I've been working real hard, practicing 20 games a day. Now things seem like they're coming around. I'm working on my spares, and I'm starting to bowl real good again. Okay, Wayne, he has two, uh, two spares already in this match, a double up now, shooting in the sixth frame. some consistency now, Bo, isn't he? Right, Chris. Nobody has lost a pocket hit. The two shots that didn't strike so far today were shots by Wayne Webb in both the first and third frames he hit light. He's been rewarded with four strikes, but he still trails this man by 20 pins, who is perfect through five. Six more, and it's $100,000. McCordick, uh, we asked him earlier about a New Year's resolution. Well, this New Year's, I just decided to forget all my uh, the past that wasn't successful and remember what was, just start over. Uh, Jack Bianalillo said to say or think of heaven in 87, so that's my theory and goal for this year. Jack Bianalillo, one of three to shoot perfect 300 games on ABC. Make it seven in a row. All right. What a match. McCordick and Webb. We're going to take a pause and be back for more. Okay, don't miss today's wide world of sports. Three parts and three exciting parts. And we have excitement here in Torrance, California, live. Wayne Webb trailing by 40. He has three in a row, shooting in the seventh frame. His opponent has seven in a row. Our first match. Still 30 pins, although he has strung four. The release of Wayne Webb, one of the great wrist actions in the sport. Look at that hand snap right around the ball, importing it, imparting an end over end roll, and watch it take the bite at the back end. All 10 pins in the pit. He trails by 30. Don't ever count this young competitor out. Tough, tough, tough. He's determined he'll keep the pressure on McCordick. What happens there is Wayne Webb puts a lot of uh, rosin on his thumb, and occasionally when he rocks from that down position, his thumb slips slightly. Good move to stop. Reset yourself. A lot of players, even the league bowlers, uh, not concentrating enough to stop an errant shot. Mm -hmm. Good move. And could smile, even. Five in a row for Wayne Webb. The power of Webb's ball. All ten pins in the pit. And does he like it? Let's watch. Okay, now in the lanes, the right lane with seven in a row, shooting in the eighth frame. Four to go.
Chris, last week we saw our tournament winner, Kent Wagner, start with a string of eight strikes in a row before being stopped by a seven pin in the ninth frame. Once again, I'll tell you what, Pete McCourty's got a great shot at this as his wife looks on because he's pressed. He still needs strikes to win the match. Mm -hmm. It's not a cakewalk. Wayne Webb still has a possible 270 game. So McCourty doesn't have this locked up by any means. Ninth frame. Three more. Nine in a row, three to go. And there is Susan McCartick. And boy, I'm dying to give away. True value is $100,000. Ed he Langto and Dan Cotter quaking probably back in Chicago. <laughs> Webb's still in the match, though. He must continue to strike. High hit, leaving the nine. Great string for Wayne Webb as he had spare in the first and third frames, strung five strikes in a row. Looks like an apparent spare here in the ninth frame. The best he can do would be 249. Normally a winning score in anybody's match, but not today as his opponent, Pete McCourty, has a chance for a perfect game. Wayne hasn't won a title since capturing back-to-back -back tournaments in, on the tour in 1985 when he won a light beer championship in Milwaukee in the Fairlanes Open in Baltimore, matching his 50th <clears throat> appearance on TV, and here's McCordick. What is going through that young man's mind? And now, um... A man who has never won a championship on the PBA Tour. Chris, I'll bet you there's many a player who has won a national title would love to have the 300 that McCordick has a shot at right now than any one of those championships. What an opportunity coming up in just a minute. As we mentioned, Wayne Webb had one of the four 300s during the week. The best games for McCordick, uh, when you're looking, there's wife on the left, Susan, 288 and 279. Some of the other 300 rollers this week, Mike Albee, Ron Palumbi, and Rod Pasteur. Four perfect games. Wayne Webb can credit himself with 249 with another strike. Just not enough. Big 249 for a man from Rehoboth, Massachusetts, now bowling out of Indianapolis, Indiana. And here we are now. Nine in a row needs three more. Now he needs two and $100,000. Pete McCordy, a great arm swing. He loses the ball slightly on the downswing. You see a ball only about three or four inches over the foul line, but direction is 95% of the sport, solid in the pocket. The last player to stand in this position I can remember, Chris, was Johnny Petragli. He had 11 in a row before finishing with 298. And I asked John, what went through your mind? He says, I went blank. The pressure was so much. Look at Pete shaking. Ten in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, just one more, and that couple, the McCordicks of Houston, Texas, will be $100,000 richer. Well, we gave away $100,000 in the U.S. Open just four weeks ago to another Texan, Dell Ballard Jr., Pete McCordick, Boeing Immortality. Is that a sight, Bo? Within his grasp, one more strike. 1974, Jim Stefanich was the last time. All right, here it is. Right lane. We have it! We have it!
beat McCordick. The tournament's not over. We still have three games left, but he's put a big dent in the prize fund. 